on ABC 40. We begin with a major break in a cold case dating back decades here in Western Mass. Body parts found in the Franklin County, Franklin County community of Warwick have now been tied to a woman who disappeared back in 1989. Welcome to Western Mass News at 4 on this Thursday. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Abby Carnavali. Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle joins us live in studio with what investigators revealed today. Glenn, DNA technology is credited for the crack in this case. Yeah, Chris, Abby, DNA testing helped it finally identify the victim as Constance Basagnani, who was 65 years old at the time of her death. Investigators say her late husband has been identified as a person of interest in an investigation spanning three and a half decades. I'm pleased to report that the identity of the victim, uh, the unknown victim of the war homicide from 1989 has been made. A cold case finally cracked wide open with the Northwestern District Attorney, revealing on Thursday that Constance Basignani is the victim in a Franklin County murder investigation that began in June 1989. Her remains had been left unidentified since police originally discovered the body on Winchester Road in Warwick 35 years ago. And DNA technology helped investigators down the path of discovery. Here's what they know. Before her death, Constance was living with her then-husband, William Basignani, in an apartment in Woonsocket, Rhode Island. Investigators put in together a timeline of significant moments in Constance's life leading up to her murder. Her husband died in 1993, but is named as a person of interest in this case. Investigators say Constance was last seen alive on Memorial Day weekend in 1989 and was never heard from again. Shortly after that, William told family and friends Constance was moving back to Hawaii. Investigators say there are holes in this story. Her husband, William, told the family that Constance had decided to move back to Hawaii and that they would not be seeing or hearing from her again. Investigators were unable to locate any shred of evidence that Constance, in fact, ever moved back to Hawaii. Police were able to identify the remains of Constance with the help of Othram, a Texas-based DNA testing facility. Using parts of the remains and a thumbprint, Othram eventually found their match. That's to generate human ID from forensic evidence. And work with very difficult uh, evidence types, very low quantities of DNA, oftentimes heavily contaminated, often mixtures. Um, but we built a lab that was purpose-built to, to generate these type of leads. Police hope this new discovery will trigger further leads to get to the bottom of this cold case. Meanwhile, the remaining members of the Basignani family and investigators are still searching for more answers. At first, you know, they didn't believe it, uh, as anyone would. They believed the story that their grandfather told them. So it was uh, shocking. It became more shocking when we used their DNA to help confirm our suspicions. Now, police are still asking for the public's help in this investigation. They're asking anyone who knows any information about Constance or William Basignani to contact the Northwestern District Attorney's Office. You can find that phone number right at the bottom of your screen or on our website at westernmassnews.com. Reporting live in the studio, Glenn Kittle for Western Mass News.